All right. So good morning, Kim. Good We're morning. talking to uh, Kim Hinkhouse from uh, Design to Build. And uh, Design to Build is a interior design business. If I know a little bit about your business, I, I believe that's correct. But why don't you tell us more, give us some more details and fill us in on how you got going in this and, and, and all about Design to Build. You bet. Um, yeah, I appreciate the time and uh, great talking with you as well, Greg. Um, so Design to Build, <clears throat> we did initially start as an interior design firm and over the last probably three or four years have morphed and reshaped our business a little bit into more of a full service uh, design build. The term is out there and loosely used by a lot of folks, um, but we truly believe that we take things from start to finish with our background in design um, and we really are our kind of motto is design or you know begin with the end in mind type of situation so we truly think through things from how is the, how are how is this space going to function and what's it going to look like all the way through the design the execution and then we actually handle the construction and the management of the um, getting the project done as well so from a terminology standpoint design build um, we truly take it from design all the way through to uh, to the finished product. Okay, so you use the word we. So tell tell us about your team. Um, we have actually doubled in size. We're still a small uh, small company, but there's four of us total. Um, we kind of have a design side of the house and a project management or construction side of the house. So um, we have a couple designers uh, with us, and as well as then. Once the plan has been established and the selections are all made, then it kind of kicks over into the construction side. So we actually manage the subcontractors, the schedule, the, the entire thing, um, and then uh, see it through all the way through execution. Oh, very interesting. So I don't hear of a lot of, of uh, businesses that do from the kind of the cradle to the grave situation. So that's, that's, uh, that's, that's interesting. So tell us about uh, who would be an ideal client? Who, who do you work with the best? Who is your sweet spot, so to say? We, uh, we have a wide variety of folks that we work with. We do uh, a little bit of new construction, but really our sweet spot is probably in the remodel industry. Um, we do a lot of kind of whole house guts, if you will. So somebody that maybe has the late 80s, early 90s home that um, needs a little cosmetic update as well as functionally. Um, uh, we're finding a lot of folks that moved into those homes, you know, now their family maybe has grown. Um, the space doesn't quite function for them anymore. So uh, we're doing a lot where we do a whole first, first floor remodel, um, you know, taking out some walls or opening things up a little bit, again, cosmetically, but also functionally. How does this space need to work for your your changing family and your changing life you don't have toddlers anymore your family maybe now is grown or you have you're an empty nester um so we do a lot of uh you know first second floor remodels as well as um sometimes we'll just do design too so sometimes folks say i have a couple rooms that i want to you know refresh or need updating um, we'll come in and we can do just design boards and provide that as well. Um, a lot of times it's tied in with the uh, construction piece because people say, I, can you get it done for me too type of thing. So uh, all the way from, like you said, uh, kind of a soup to nuts approach there. Okay. So how did you get started in this business? Were you already in the business? Uh, tell, me, tell me how Design to Build got originated. So my business partner has been a, an interior designer for 30 plus years. Um, she and I joined forces, uh, I think it's been five or six years now. Um, kind of went through, like I said, stayed in that design lane for a long time. And then um, over the last couple of years, saw the need for a lot of folks when they want to remodel, their first call is a, a contractor and they come in and say, okay, I wanna remodel my kitchen. Contractor says, great, what would you like to do? You know, the client says, I don't know, I just want to re remodel my kitchen. So we sort of saw the need for, you know, or again, our thought is hopefully we're the first call type of thing before you call a contractor. Let's, let's figure out what it is you want to do and what makes sense so you don't get so far in and then have to back up, you know, one step forward, two steps back kind of thing. So 
really saw the need a few years ago and kind of retooled our business a little bit uh, to include kind of that construction aspect. So um, we're now handling, you know, concept design boards, selections, all the way through getting it done. Well, that's excellent. So last year was obviously a pretty crazy year with the whole COVID situation. Um, how did COVID affect design to build and talk about any changes or any pivoting or anything like that that you you had to implement or change last year? Sure. We uh, were probably one of the few fortunate uh, industries out there where um, COVID was potentially beneficial to our business. Um, it came with some challenges because as we're remodeling homes, people are home working too. So that's uh, sort of a logistical challenge, but um, overall, it sort of shown, I think a lot of people being in their homes more, um, in our case, it sort of shown a light on, uh, hey, maybe we should remodel or our house maybe needs a little something or now there's two of us working from home. Um, you know, our, we don't, we're not equipped with an office to, to manage this type of thing. So um, what the actual thinking was, I'm not sure, but it's, uh, it's actually been good for the, the home building remodeling industry in the sense of folks are are wanting to do those projects that either they've been putting off or they think yeah now's the time to invest a little bit of money in our house and and make it you know functional for us going forward yeah i know a lot of people that all of a sudden their home had to be their office their classroom uh all the all the above kind of and they you know obviously they weren't set up for that so absolutely they, they couldn't go to disneyland or disney world so they might as well uh set up their home the way they the, the way that they'll function for them so yep you know, yep absolutely good, there good. uh there's with that like i said has come some challenges in the sense of you know working around people as they're working um construction's noisy obviously and if you're working from home that's a bit of a challenge but um also because of the big uh demand um materials are are becoming harder to get a hold of so whether it be um, again we deal all the way from you know, kind of two by fours all the way through furniture. Um, furnishings and furniture are really becoming hard to get get in touch with. So, yeah, I'd, I'd heard there was a an issue with appliances that it was really hard to get appliances. Uh, yep. uh, since last year, so yeah, the uh, the supply and demand, both of those have been a little out of whack. You know, a lot of demand for them, and then the supply chain has has been disrupted with labor and that kind of thing. So. Hopefully that starts to level out soon because it's uh, things are becoming further and further out from a you know getting your hands on them perspective. Good, good. So uh, there'll be some people that'll be watching this, and uh, um, they may be new, brand new startups, and 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 you're an exper experienced veteran out there. So <laughs> are there a wise man once said a smart person learns from from uh, making their mistakes and learning from them. A wise man learns from learning from other people's mistakes. So are there some, some I won't say mistakes, but are there some areas that you, that you learned the hard way in and that maybe you can give some, some tips out there for, for people that are getting going in their business, whether it be a startup or they've been out and about for a while? You bet. Um, it's probably not, uh, not unlike you hear from other folks are not revolutionary in the sense of you know, I think the, the common mistake of a lot of small business owners or startups uh, is you're usually a one man band at the beginning or maybe two of you kind of thing in our case um, to start and you try to do everything at once because you have to. Um, it probably the, the biggest thing looking back or going forward is, you know, identifying when stay in your lane type of thing. There's I'm not an accountant, I am not a bookkeeper. So um, for me to spend my time doing that is, for one, I'm, I'm not the best person to do it. And two, it's taking me away from what I am good at. So um, while it doesn't feel like you should enlist others to help or pay people to do the things that you feel like you should be doing, it's, uh, it's very beneficial in the long run. So uh, I know that's a, a thing that you, like I said, you hear from a lot of folks and it's, it's counterintuitive when you're starting out and there's, you know, whether you're strapped for cash or you feel like, oh, this is small, I should be doing it type of thing. It's, uh, 
identifying those opportunities when you can peel some of that off and again, stay in your lane from a strength perspective. Yeah, very good point. You're, you're absolutely correct. Good. That's a good, good words of wisdom there to, to pass along from somebody that's somebody that's been there. So uh, anything um, that you would like uh, any kind of type of a call to action or anything that you would like people to, to know about or any, uh, any, I, I guess probably the open houses have probably gone by the wayside with the COVID thing, but any, anything that uh, people could learn more about you or find out more about design to build? Sure. Um, we have a website, obviously, um, www.d2b.design. Um, talks about our process a little bit more. And like I said, we are a, a little bit different than just a general contractor out there. Um, we really focus on the design and that, um, you know, begin with the end in mind situation. So um, would love to be somebody's first call versus a, a, a contractor and then you're backing up. Um, and I, I think a lot of people even we hear, you know, say, I don't even, I don't know if my house can work or not type of thing. So, you know, we're considering, do we remodel or do we just build a new house or do we move type of thing? So um, we do, you know, free consultations where we sit down and kind of chat through, you know, needs and wants and, and objectives type of thing. So uh, a lot of people we find, you know, kind of, it's an intimidating process. They don't know where to start. Um, so we're happy to help kind of walk through that situation. So I think we're a little bit different in that sense where we really, we spend a lot of time planning. And if you do the planning right, the execution happens, you know, in a much quicker fashion. So um, that's a little bit about us or kind of what makes us a little bit different, our, our approach there. I'm guessing you probably get a phone call or an email and people don't even know what they don't know. They're that's not exactly sure. right. Yep, yep. So you've got well, and it's a typical track. case, you know, somebody, wants to replace their countertops and uh, soon they're, well, this kitchen, you know, my kitchen doesn't work at all for me. And I, you know, I've never liked the way this is in, in coordinates with our dining room or, you know, whatever kind of thing. So um, yeah, sometimes you don't, you don't know the questions to ask or you don't know what you don't know is exactly right. So one last question, I'll let you off the hook. Thank you for your time again, but what would you say inspires you? Uh, for us, we, I mean, we're big into um, believing that you feel different in a space that is uh, well designed or well well thought out. So we like to say that we want to bring great design to Central Iowa, um, and we our whole team is inspired by kind of our surroundings, if you will, um, and uh, want to help others kind of feel that same way. So. For us, it's, it's really fun to see the transformation. Um, we're inspired by what was and now is type of thing from a before and after. Um, and that's probably what, what gets us out of bed every day is kind of seeing that um, or you know seeing somebody excited about, man, we should have done it sooner type of thing. And uh, we love the way the space functions for us now. We love the way it looks. We love to be in it type of thing. Um, that's fun for us to see and uh, be part of. Well, Kim, it's obviously you have a lot of passion for the for the job that you're that you're in and the and the lane and the specifics of, of what all you guys do. So thank you very much for your time. Hopefully, if anybody has questions, they will reach out to you and I'm sure you'd be glad to help them. So absolutely thank you very much. Absolutely. Appreciate appreciate it. Thanks, Greg.